Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome to Spin Tires Mud Runner and this one is going to be a new review of a mod build by Frog and a guy named Josh. This is going to be their Jeep JLU Rubicon and as you can see it is not stock. We're dealing with a full on beadlock wheel. These look these look to be about in the range of 40s. Um, I'm not too sure about that but we've got a full coilover setup. We've got basically a fully built JL ready to go off-road ready to take on the trails and it's also a very 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 realistic JL build and there's not a lot of JLs that have been put into this game so I'm really excited to see what this thing could do out on the trails and I've brought it to a old favorite old faithful map you guys know it I know it it's a great map hometown trailing and we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of like a flex test and then take it down the trail and see what this JL is made of so with all that being said, we are setting off. Oh, crap. I almost forgot. We're going to shut this thing off, actually, and run through the upgrades and sort of run through uh, the build, the current build and the current setup on this particular vehicle. So, with a garage being here, let's go ahead and uninstall everything. Like, when I say everything, we're installing all the things. So, get every, eh, bleh, everything off. Everything off. Okay. So this is how it comes. This is basically sort of like the bare spec. And then from there, you can add back in the spare tire, which we're going to add. You can add doors, which are, you could do full doors, or you could do half doors, which were on it before. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how they all look. I mean, I like the full doors, but I also like the half doors. I think the half doors are a little bit more of an off-road uh, off looking setup. So that's definitely the one I'm going to be going with. And then roof-wise, I mean, you can do the roof. That's up to you. Um, that's up to whether, like, up to you whether or not you want to do that. I'm actually probably going to leave the roof off for this test. Um, you also have the roof rack, which obviously requires the roof to be installed, which you guys saw earlier, and of course the spare in the back. But when it comes to Jeeps, I am a big fan of open top Jeeps, so this is how I'm going to run this JL. So, the interior view, obviously, while not done, is very, very cool. I mean, it looks good already. I mean, and honestly, considering the fact that not a lot of people use the interior view, they could probably leave the interior view as is, and it wouldn't really need much. Wow, I about slid into that freaking pole so we are going to run this thing through a flex test as we usually do whenever we come to this map because this map is a great test of a vehicle's capability we have some really like almost standardized obstacles here that really show what a vehicle's capabilities are so let's go ahead and run you up the flex ramp oh wow stuffing tire on the passenger side that's awesome that is seriously a that is seriously a good bit of flex that's awesome, and I love it. All right, let's... Oh, that is so sick. Dude, that is... That is so sick. Oh, my God. I love that. I don't know about y'all, but the JL, to me, is really, like... It really sort of picked up where the JK left off and almost improved upon everything that the JK sort of started. So, with that being said... It's time to run this thing down the trail, and I think it's going to do really, 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 really well. Um, and do I know if he's ever going to release this build? I, Like I said, I have absolutely no idea. That's up to Frog. Um, I cannot answer that. That is up to Frog, and that is up to Josh. Holy crap. I'm just flooring it high through the mud. This thing gets it, dude. Absolute yeetage. Absolute full-on yeetage. All right, let's see how this thing does through the frame twisters. Throwing it in low three and crawling our way through. We do low three half throttle most of the time on stuff like this. The grip is awesome. There's really nothing, like nothing at all that is really getting in the way of the grip. I mean, it is, it is really, really sticky. Really sticky setup. Wow. God, the thing just walks, dude thing absolutely just walks through this stuff and i'm not even being like too picky about my line and it's still just walking it is absolutely just you know like oh yeah we can do this 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 no worries no worries nothing at all we're just, nothing at all we're just gonna walk it and i honestly like i, I think it's i why did he just walk right up that like rock wall 
It's just like, oh yeah, we're just gonna walk right up that, like, no big deal. Like, okay. It didn't even scrape the tire carrier. There's almost nothing to worry about with this thing. It just goes. It just absolutely goes. Let's run it right up, like, everything. Let's see if it could go right up this one. And with proper- Oh my god! Oh my god! Very few vehicles can walk straight up that rock. There's very few that could do that, and that is... That's properly good. Like, that's a really, really capable vehicle. And the fact that it's that capable is just like... Holy crap! So good! Alright, throwing you in high, let's go! Woo! <laughs> Fifth, sixth. Oh, this is totally good. Oh, I made the whole thing. Full on jumping into the swap. Florida nine, it keeps going. Oh, well, needed a little bit of modulation of the throttle there, but not a lot. The thing is still a monster. What? It's gonna do the whole course and just be like, nah, I don't care. Like, no worries, man. No worries at all. It had a little, a little bit of a scrape there, but, I mean, you gotta expect that when it comes to the big tires. I mean, these big tire obstacles, like, the vehicles do sometimes behave a little bit weird, but it just absolutely just kills it. Walks it. Absolutely walks it. There's nothing on this map so far that has tripped this thing up. And that is insane, because there's a lot of really crazy obstacles on this map. Like, a lot of the obstacles on this map w are really good for testing overall vehicle capabilities. And this thing has pretty much cruised through everything with flying colors so far. Let's see how it does over the pipes. First set of pipes, pretty easy. It hung the axle a little bit, but... Or rather, hung the frame a little bit, but... Nothing too crazy. We got another set of tires, which we know it's pretty much going to walk right over. Um, I'm going to angle it to the left. And up we go. Dude, it's, it freaking kills it. It kills it every single time. Every single obstacle. It's so easy to drive. There's like... I mean, I have not been picky about my line this, uh, this whole run. I have not been at all picky about my line. And it's like, okay, we're going to just go wherever you want. Like, no big deal. All right, we're going to run you up this one more time. Run it over the tires. Yes. Oh, my God. This thing does not even care. And by the way, if you have anything that you would like me to do with this Jeep or, or that you would like to see with this Jeep, leave your thoughts, opinions, and ideas in the comment section down below. Up over this next set of tires. Let's go. Come on. Let's see, street jump. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in high just a little bit early and then throw it in automatic so it'll hopefully shift up to sixth. Yep! Yep, get the street jump done. It's fast in automatic. It's it's a fast rig. Like you get it up in sixth and it goes. It's faster than a lot of stuff. Whoa! You gotta be careful on those big jumps though. We almost like turned it over. Nearly. Not quite, but nearly turned it over. Even on the Rubicon run, it's not really having much trouble. I took kind of a kind of a strange line, and I don't want to like I don't want to mess myself up by continuing to take that strange line, but you know. Easy does it. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Easy, just easing it along, half throttle, nothing too crazy. It's really good if, like, you just maintain, like, a nice slow cruising pace through, like, the crawly stuff. It really does get through everything very, very nicely. I, I haven't driven a vehicle through here in a long time that gets through everything this well. It's got, like, the perfect size tire, the perfect wheelbase, the perfect amount of flex, the perfect amount of everything to just, like... And be like, yeah, I'm just gonna go through and it's gonna be fine. Just fine. Alright, there we go. Yeah, dude, it just angles right through everything. Like, there's literally nothing that could stand in this Jeep's way. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. I will say, though, we have one more obstacle that could potentially stand in, the, in its way, and that's the stairs. 
As y'all know, the stairs tend to trip vehicles up, but this thing so far has not had any issues or any real issues to speak of. Uh oh. This is usually the one that gets vehicles. Uh, doing a little bit of an angly boy. I don't know if being an angly boy is going to help because it's like it's catching on the frame, but yeah, maybe try bumping it in high. That might get the front axle to bounce and then hook on the other side. Uh, it won't do it. Oh, it almost did. God, it almost did, man. It almost did. It was so close. It was so close. Oh, it tried! Oh my god, it's trying so hard, dude. Oh my god, modulating the throttle in high is like the closest I've... Oh my god! Oh my god, that was almost it. That was the worst one yet. Yes! Yes! Woo! We got it! It took a few tries, but we got it. That's a really tricky obstacle for a lot of vehicles. And this thing just nailed it, man. You got to angle it a little bit and just kind of bump it in high. But wow, that's a that's a really, really good setup. I mean, I, I, I am very impressed. I am very impressed. And honestly, if this thing is ever like released, which I, I have no idea if it will be or not, but if it is, oh my god, this thing is sick. But big thanks to Frog for letting me check this thing out, and I'm mad props for the both of them for, like, you know, the idea and developing it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button and let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. We post either one or two times a day, and I also stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you turn those notifications on, and I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.